Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm sorry for the glare to start with, bear with me, it's because of my lights, because I'm filming later in the day. Um, so I wanted to unbox and show you the set of Derwent Fine Art pencils that I received from my wonderful husband for my birthday I believe this was, that's how long it has taken me to get round through my stack of videos. Um, so he bought me the 100 set of the Light Fast. This did come in a nice cardboard box with all the details on but I got rid of that a while ago. I have been using these a little bit so um, this is by no means an in-depth review. This is an unboxing and a swatch and a bit of a first impressions more than anything. Uh, you get these lovely, lovely wooden tray inserts with the form in between. This is a book insert here that um, just has information about the Lightfast pencils um, and Derwent itself, bits and pieces. I'm not going to lie, probably going to never read that, but some people will find that interesting and it is there. And then we have the light fast pencils themselves. These are not cheap, but they are beautiful pencils. They're a little bit firmer than the luminance. And from what a lot of people say, they create a very nice companion set to the luminance pencils. Not going to lie, that makes two very expensive pencil sets that you would collect. Is it a bit intense for your colouring books? Yes. Did I get them anyway as a gift? Yes. Do you need these pencils? Absolutely not. Are they nice pencils? Yes, they are. So, the colour range nah, is uh, beautiful, but if this was your first set, you'd maybe... Well, I say that, but let's be honest, you can pretty much create what you want, but they are very earthy natural neutral kind of tones i know it doesn't seem it from the bright ones but you'll see when we start to swatch that some of those you know those pink um and indeed oh, let me see now if i remember right um orange they're just not there um I think that's why they've become a, a, a you know a kind of well known to be a nice companion set to the luminance because between the two sets you get more of a rounded out set of pencils. So um we have the top tray that sits inside and lifts out. Um, it comes in a beautiful clasp lid box and the tray itself sits into the lid if you want it to and then obviously when you lift the next tray out and you have that one set separate the final set of pencils are actually in the base of the box so this is not a removable tray insert probably won't be keeping them in the box because it's a space issue for me I don't have that much room on my desk um, so it's not a cheap set to start with it's definitely not cheap in its box but I managed to grab a fantastic deal on these it's why um, I kind of nudged my husband in the direction of what I wanted for my birthday in the first place I've only seen these generally um for about the 350 mark it's a lot of money for 100 pencils is that but obviously cheaper than them open stock um but i managed to bag this from cult pens for 249 pound so you can see why um i did grab it because that is absolutely the cheapest i've seen it anywhere indeed i did wonder whether it was actually going to be the set it said it was but it was i don't believe you can still get that exact same set i'm afraid um but you can always have a quick look on cold pens you never know if that's the set that you want um definitely keep an eye out because i've been eyeing them for a while and obviously eventually managed to find them at a more reasonable price so yeah Bear with me. Hang on. We're 
going to swatch these out for funsies. I'm going to pop this box to one side and out of the way. These are in no particular order because I did manage to turn my box upside down a bit ago and mix up all my pencils. So we're just going to swatch what we've got so you can have a little look at the colours themselves. Okay, sorry for the little pause there. I went to grab something I needed. So before we continue... Um, like I said, I haven't used these a whole lot. This is not a review. I really, really like my Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. I've really enjoyed using them for skin. And the bits and pieces that I've used them on so far. They're quite a nice, creamy pencil. Quite similar in texture to the Prismacolor. Um, for people that like those. But, the Luminance... I think the Luminance probably have a bit more of a learning curve to them. So, like I said, they're too new to me to give judgment. But I'm not sure they're going to end up being one of my favourite pencils. Now, I've said many things about many pencils in the past. And then, you know, sometimes change my mind later. I will openly admit this. But I can usually tell, you know, my favourites are my favourites. From the beginning, it stays pretty much the same. You know, you know what you like. Um, so far, I've done this page with... Um, I did the skin with the luminance, loved it. Um, the, the vines with my luminance... Did I use my... No. The vines are light fast. The butterflies are light fast. The hair is light fast. Um, I do love how this butterfly turned out. Very pretty. The way, you know, when you use that kind of flicking motion to get... Um, I'll just zoom you in, guys. Sorry. There we go. To get that kind of texture. It's very pretty. Um, and I do like her hair. Uh, let's be honest. I mean, this is, you know, we're on create space paper here. So it's not going to turn into its most beautiful version of itself. But... You know, um, I work on this kind of paper a lot. It's I like to work in my books. I don't want print out. Um, so it's going to come down to the kind of colourist you are. You know, do you do you print your stuff onto better cardstock or paper or mixed media paper or pencil paper? Or do you just work from your colouring books and want pencils that will work with you? Um, so yeah, it's... They're nice. They're just very expensive for maybe a pencil that I'm not going to use all the time because they're not my favourite. Um, you know me, I will. I rotate through all my pencils so they all appear at some point but I can already kind of tell from the colours themselves and the way they lay that they're not going to be something I immediately pick up. But very pretty, very nice, lovely pigment and obviously they hold their pigment because that is what they are known for. Right. All that aside, now I'm going to swatch them. <laughs> now these, the main downside with these so far is they do not have numbers. Um, bear with me, I'm going to put that down so I can lock my screen. Um, they only have colour names. Um, they are quite high up at least, so you will keep them for a while. So it's not really the end of the world, but you know, some people just prefer to have name so we are starting with light bronze we are on cheap copy paper here and mallard green Olive Earth They're also just a little bit scratchier than um, my luminance so far. Dark Honey But I do believe that that's mainly because they need to be layered more would definitely seem more of a layering pencil. Let me just 
just check you guys can see that properly right um we are then cherry red Scarlet Strawberry Quite surprised by the amount of reds Reds normally the one that you just don't have any of and yeah, this set, uh, it's the oranges, really. Uh, we then have Derwent Red. So, we're especially theirs. That is pretty. It's quite a vibrant flame red. Dark Orange. Like a terracotta, really. Flame. Well, at least the orange they do have is proper orange, so there's that. Dusky pink. Apricot Golden Sun Amber gold. Okay, I take it back. There's more oranges than they look to be. They look very brown on the end of there. Now you see on camera they look very similar, but in life that pencil looks like um, a mustard and that swatch is a pale orange uh, gold start that swatch again i think that had something on its pencil end And mustard. Champagne. Yellow. Mm. You see, that's got a little bit of colour running through it. Whether that continues down the barrel, I don't know. Let's see. Seems to be, but seems to have sorted itself out. Sun yellow. And then banana. Uh, 
I'd suggest a sharpen for these, more certainly. Just to get whatever that grunk is off the tips of them from the box, probably. Right, we're then starting into the next tray. I'm going to put these back into place. should have done that as we went along but I always mix up what I'm swatching if I do that they do have very nice seatings to them and they sit very well and securely into their trays I mean, considering the price, you would hope so. Right, tray two. Cinnamon. Oyster and the pale colours are beautiful. Probably can't even see that on camera, it's very pale. Um pale peach salmon. Magenta. Starting to wonder if I got a decent set. Hmm. <laughs> How have you guys found yours? Bordeaux. Because I'll be honest, I usually really like Derwent. not as impressed with this set as I thought I would be. Deep Rose. Some of them are nicer than others. Some of them are quite smooth. There's just a few so far. Autumn Red. Like I say, it might just be that they hate this paper. So I'm not going to give up on them yet. Mars Violet Heather Wild Lavender Nightshade, I do like the depth of that, it's the one thing sometimes with budget sets, your dark isn't quite as dark as you want it to be and your light isn't quite as light as you need it to be. Violet. Blue Violet Mid Ultramarine, is it? Yes, Mid Ultramarine.
deep blue. Sapphire. Some very similar colours in this set. Denim. Mid blue. Midnight blue, seventy per cent. Looks like a teal to me. Mid blue, seventy per cent. Midnight blue. Very similar. Arctic. That is a nice white blue. Like a barely there. Dark cyan. Yep, that really is dark. Looks like a navy to me. Dark indigo. Yeah, I think these hate this paper. To find something that they work nicely on. There's a lot of paper. What pencil update? Oh, sorry guys, not even on. Dark indigo, dark cyan, and ocean blue, dark. Mm. That. Looks like a muddy blue grey, to be honest, to me. Ocean blue. Dark turquoise. Pacific blue, it's a nice colour, light aqua, Turquoise green. See, that is a beautiful pencil. Mm. Peridot, in brackets, blue. Okay. Purple. Basil. Vivid green. Very 
grey dot in brackets yellow spruce green Racing green, green earth. It's a nice colour. Okay, that takes us to our last tray. I'm going to pop that off to one side. Our last tray, of course, is whoops, in the box itself. So I will have to pop my box to one side. I do think it, it would have been nice if the final tray was removable. Just for, you know, use. I do feel like this box is really just for display not for use in any way so a bit fiddly uh, mountain green no oh. yes grass green Grass green, 70%. Foliage. They definitely got their greens and blues covered. Ivy. A nice brown green forest chestnut. Seaweed, lichen green or lichen green, chocolate. Warm Earth Brown Orca Yellow Orca Sandstorm. Yeah, this box made a liar out of me. Apparently there's loads of oranges in here. Persian orange. I 
it seems to be pinks we're missing from this set I think burnt sienna Mars Orange Sienna Autumn Brown Gonna be orange honest, I've no idea why I stopped my last row where I did. Raisin obviously got distracted by the way my pencils feel about this paper. Venetian red Ruby Earth. Sepia, in brackets, red. Natural brown. Merlot. Takes a little bit of time to swatch a hundred pencils. Van Dyke Brown. Top. Most of the ends do seem to match quite well. Fossil Grey. That's beautiful. I love a French grey. Warm grey. Moonstone. Cool grey, granite, platinum. Cloud grey, mist, Mars black. Got a bit of ready brown to that black. Midnight black. That black has a blue in it. And black. It's a nice black. We have white. Uh, do it anyway. <laughs> so, don't think I have any black paper hanging around. Bear with me, I might. I do. I do. Not bad. Okay, bear with me, I will move the box out of our way. I'll bring that out so you can see. 
the entire colour collection. That is our colour range. So, like I said at the beginning, a little bit mixed up because of my uh, earlier accident. They are a gorgeous set of colours, some very similar, more oranges than it looked to be. Um, I suppose essentially it's just your pink, just missing a little bit of pink, but you could kind of sort that out with your reds and your paler tones to be honest. Um, and let's be honest, you can create from your yellow and your red quite nice oranges anyway as well. Um, there's quite a few blues, but they are very similar. The greens are very nice for kind of natural landscape kind of greens. Um, nice range of browns, to be honest. Quite a few greys, but you go straight from your pale to your black essentially there's not a lot of a mid range there I don't sound pleased do I I do like them like I said I really think they hate this paper I'm going to assume cult pens would not <laughs> sell me a bad box of Derwent so it's just that they you know they're maybe a little bit more fin finicky about the paper so I just need to work something they work well on to uh, find you know the right way to comfortably use them and work them into my rotation i hope you found this useful guys if so please give me a thumbs up join the channel if you like it and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching